Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I feature a lot of budget guns and every time I show a budget gun someone says you are missing this specific Ruger. How can you feature all these budget guns and not include that one? And, and I thought about it so it was available locally. I was able to pick it up, never been shot, got it for a killer price and a lot of people do because it certainly is a budget gun. Now if you recall back Ruger's introduction to the single stack 9mm handgun craze that was going on about 15 years ago was the LC9. And then it had long trigger pull. Hammer fired, super long trigger pull. People complained about it. You'd, you'd pull that trigger and drop that muzzle downward. People were shooting low left and right. So then they came out with the LC9S. The LC9S, which is a striker fire, had a trigger that was very light so it went from overly heavy to overly light this is what i said about the lc9s 10 years ago the trigger is extremely light matter of fact it kind of reminds me of you know a, a four pound 1911 once you fire you really have to you know be careful because that second shot comes off very quick but then what ruger did was they took the heavy trigger and then the super light trigger meshed it together and came out with a budget handgun that models the LC9S but it's priced much less and here we have the Ruger EC9S. EC I think stands for economical that's just what I think. Many of the same features except for a little bit of a heavier trigger pull which is good the LC9S trigger was too light and it has integrated sights so they don't have three dot like the LC9S. Okay, integrated. And it comes with this piece here. N no real injection. Seven round single stack mag. And it does have a magazine disconnect, which irritates me, but it is what it is. Ruger is a bit on the overly safe side. Okay, they stamp all this stuff. Read the owner's manual, you know. Check to be unloaded or what some of the things they say. But the EC9S is, is a single stack 9mm handgun. They got rid of the LC9S and the LC9. This is their model. It MSRP's for about $350, but if you search hard enough, you can pick this up for in the mid 250s brand new and this is brand new and i i paid less for that less than that locally okay but it offers quite a bit i have some experience with all these models i don't have video footage but that's okay i will assume a uh, seven round magazine it has a thumb safety right there a 3.1 inch barrel with an integrated barrel bushing, integral, and there are the sights, serrated black, serrated black, both which way. Disassemble, I'm going to show that, glass filled nylon, okay, it's a form of polymer, glass filled, but the trigger is not super light, I, w I would guess right around five and a half pounds, all right, I'll get a true measurement on that, with the reset right there. So it's heavier than the LC9S, which is basically a copy of this, but a very light trigger with three dot sights, and it's much lighter than the original LC9. So they, they balanced it out, came out with this, and now this is the only one of the three that they produce. And they made it budget priced, very much so. And another thing they did was they, the finish on the slide is much better than what was on the LC9. That one rusted out. I had one. I showed it. It was my buddy's. He would pocket carry it and that thing was so rusted out. So this is it. Here we have an unloaded EC9 ass weighing in at 16 and 5 8 ounces. But now we have seven rounds right here. We're looking at 20 and 3 quarters ounces. Here's a carry round. 21 and an eighth ounce loaded with eight rounds. Let's disassemble the Ruger EC9S. I have that orange piece in there that will allow the trigger to pull but yet not lock the slide back. And we are clear. The first thing we're going to do is take this gate right there, push it down that will expose the pin. 
Okay, a little plastic piece, you push it down. Then we need to move the slide back just a hair. I've got this little wrench. Some people use a punch. It'll go in the opposite direction. Push the pin out. I got it partially out, but that's the pin. And then we'll pull the trigger. And off comes the slide from the frame. Here we have a dual captive recoil spring, guide rod assembly, and a 3.1 inch barrel with an integral muzzle bushing. That's what that is. It locks up really tight. Then we'll put it back into place. It's the same process with the LC9S, the EC9S. It's very identical for less money. That pin's not all the way in. We'll just push it in a little bit further and raise that gate. I don't know if I have it in all the way. That doesn't look like it is. There it is. And let's raise that gate. And there we go. ECS 9 is reassembled. Here we'll take a look at the grip texturing. Not bad. It does have the pinky extension for three finger contact on the grip and I think a lot of people well I know a lot of people pocket carry and you can see it fits in there really nice and it's it's light so the EC9S certainly has its place uh, LC9 was super popular then people moved away from it because of that long trigger pull the LC9S because it was striker fired became popular then people moved away from it because the trigger was too light. I did an accurate measurement. Five pounds even. Five pounds even. With a reset that is almost full position. Hit that tension right there. No over travel. So that is the Ruger EC9S. It is, it is budget. Definitely budget. Right around 250 bucks. And maybe 270 or so if you shop around a little bit but it's a lightweight single stack nine millimeter handgun that is ruger's balance between their previous models and it is budget price so i'm gonna get this to the range see how well it does a lot of the single stack fans still out there i know people you know my p365 does everything i needed to do we have to acknowledge some people like to pocket carry a single stack, especially now in the warmer weather. So here is the Ruger EC9S, definitely a budget price gun. And from what I can tell, pretty nice. I have a, quite a bit of experience with the other two models. Not so much the EC9S, but it's not that much different. And I think it'll be just fine. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.